building our lives with these online tools or are we really feeding the urges of the machine? Let me explain the question just a little bit. Uh, we so much love interacting with each other uh, and uh, projecting our physical lives uh, in the online universe through our photos, our videos, tagging, uh, posting, building and commenting. Um, so now what happens is that a lot of this is actually helping machines know more about our inner selves, our essence. Um, machines are becoming more knowledgeable about human beings that human beings have ever been able to. Uh, we not even have access to our source code. They have access to their own source so code. We've just got access to our source code. Well, no, but no, no, hold it. The, 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 the genome. Yes, but we cannot change it. <laughs> no, we cannot debug no, we, it, or we cannot okay. debug it quick enough, and they no, can. We're getting, but but it's only been fifteen. That years. is another question. So let's yeah, ask okay, the first right. question: okay. Are we building our lives, or are we feeding the urges of the machine? Okay, I love that question. When I saw it right away, when I saw that question, I thought at the urge that Wi-Fi was creating of being wireless, the whole wireless culture was urging us to be constantly connected, always on, the kids particularly, right? So I thought this was a very interesting question, I thought he's right. That question is a moral one, we need to know whether we are yielding to our machines or whether we are actually controlling our machines. And I've been really thinking about this uh, a fair bit, and my conclusion is that in fact, we are, we are Ex electricity is different from the mechanical era. The mechanical era is the era of the muscle. It's the extension of the muscular, but it's also the control of the muscle, it's a control of the body. And to, one, to a certain extent, we have been corseted, jacket, you know, straight jacketed by, 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 this, uh, by the mechanical age. Now that the electronic age is coming, we are still calling them machines, should we? Is, it really, is, the, electri is, it, is the electronic environment a uh, mechana? It isn't. It's just not a machine. It's it's something that's something that is closer to biology than ever we have been before. It's closer to our body than ever it has been before. It's closer to our mind, and it's much more. We never called books machine, did we? And books were infinitely more controlling of the way we are than machines themselves were. But we don't call books machines. We call because books are cognitive. Supports are cognitive, they, they, they make us relate to language in a way which is very specific and very particular. I'm saying that electricity is now in its third stage of maturation. It is moving from the analog, which was the muscular extension, when the, the broadcast era, the non-interactive, I mean all these things, and we're moving towards, we've moved through the digital age, and the digital age is electricity becoming intelligent and making content available but not, not absolutely to everybody and not everywhere. Wireless is this third stage that is now making not only that content available anywhere, but makes an interaction possible from anywhere to anywhere, creating a cognitive environment which is more than just a cognitive content. And I find this extremely important to understand where, where we are today. Is the machine controlling us? It's, 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 it's an old, old question. Is it uh, Mammon or is it God? Is it, you know, it's the whole idea, is the, are we yielding ourselves, are we delegating all, uh, yes we are, but we did that for a long time without knowing it. We killed each other to have the possibility of doing it for 200 years of religious wars, you know. So what I'm saying, now what we have is terrorism, now what we have is a global cognitive environment in which it, you can hurt people by exploding somewhere. And exploding, you just don't hurt the people who get hit, but you get hurt, you hurt everybody in the world. My guts are hit by the guy who blows his guts. Okay, so that's, that is today's war, that is today's transition, that is today's religious, yeah, it's another religious war. All religious wars are dubiously religious, but nevertheless, this is a dubiously religious war, as the previous one by Mr. Henry VIII <laughs> was also perfectly dubious. Um, we're dealing with a religious war, which is really a, a a turf war and a control war, absolutely. But the form of it is that it is in a cognitive environment. That's the machine. Is that really a machine? Was it, yes, it was a machine that, that that plunged into the towers of uh, uh, the, the towers of uh, the, twin towers. the twin towers. But the intelligence behind it was 
I swear, was not into the machine. It was a con an amazingly controlled operation. So, and I'm not saying who controlled it. I just don't want to say anything about it, but I'm not happy about anything that's gone on since that time. <laughs> Whatever. But uh, to adding to this, uh, I would like to posit the possibility that instead of talking about humans on one side and machines on the other, we recognize that we make tools and those tools make us. McLuhan said it. I, mean, I love Mike Wesh's YouTube called The Machine is Using Us. Did you oh, see that? Absolutely. You have to. Okay. That, that video is, is perfect. <laughs> so you are saying that we are now starting to really sing the machine electric. Yes, absolutely. But we're seeing the body electric as yes. well. I think, and, 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 and we are in this third phase of electricity. And my question is, is the fourth phase quantum or is it... Uh, more more digital. I don't think so. I think digital will reach very quickly its saturation point. With uh, once it's once you've digitized everything, you've got to go somewhere else. You know? Yes. Um, so so we are co-evolving with our machines. Uh, uh, we are uh, letting the machines evolve uh, quickly. But of course, the machines' evolution is also influencing us in our individuality, the yes. way we perceive our individuality yeah. and our society. When we do the groups. It. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. No, it's it's true. There's something. Uh, it's true that um, we don't perceive what's happening, and the problem is, is is just that is that a lot of this is completely sub rosa. The people don't realize that they are that that they are changing. Now that immediately makes you think of conspiracy, of manipulation, of of of, of danger. I'm saying no. We are in a transition where we are going to have best of both worlds, where we will be able to have the tribe be the tribe, be part of the tribe, but that tribe will have the particularity of having individuals. It's a tribe of individuals instead of a tribe of collectives. It's a tribe of people who interconnect in order to constitute their own group of interests, Web 2.0 and all that, and, and all that stuff. La pos the possibility today of having yourself and distributing it. Having other people's self distributed to you, publishing yourself in Facebook and MySpace and other places outside your, uh, outside the printing environment, making it available as part of everybody's memory, putting our pictures on the wall, everybody's wall. So it's fabulous. It's uh, amazing. We only have two minutes. Oh, amazing! But uh, if we project ourselves to the outside. Mm -hmm. And since it is impossible, we are delegating some of this control to the algorithms that recommend and that rank yeah. uh, the way we project Absolutely. ourselves. We have a problem there. How do we manage the systems that become more and more autonomous? Well, RFID is total surround. Okay, Once you've got uh, tags in everything that you own or is, uh, is uh, tagged and wherever you are is traceable and so on, suddenly that autonomy, that, that neutral space that was created by the Renaissance and by perspective, in fact, and by artists and also architects and so on, but the, and, and geographer, cl clearly, neutral space was created in order for people to have liberty and autonomy within a fixed stage. Today, we carry the stage with us, and we are everywhere at once. We are both at the center of everything and at the periphery of everything. This is actually very, very important. It allows us to have both a certain level of autonomy without ever losing touch, ever losing, you know, uh, our... So I believe that uh, what's happening to us now is the... It were in a transition where being exported, our inside being turned around, turned like a glove, as McLuhan put it. Online, this exporting of us online is part of a necessary process that leads to this combination of the, uh, of the personal, the self, and the other. We're, we're dealing with an entirely new way of being, as the Renaissance people were dealing with an entirely new way of being. We don't quite know where that leads, but we're in a kind of a neo-baroque era. Thank you very much. This has been wonderful. Well, I'm glad, David. <laughs> I'm glad you enjoyed it.